All right, guys, let's cheat Tesla Autopilot in this video. And we're gonna do that because a few engineers have quite easily managed to cheat Tesla's Autopilot in a left-hand drive car. And we're gonna test if it is possible on the right-hand drive cars here in Australia as well. Now, this video is gonna be split into three parts. The first part is a suggestion that a fellow Aussie and Tesla owner who's a member of the Tesla Owners Club Australia did suggest to me. The second part of this video will be what are the safety features that Tesla has in our cars and how to cheat them. And the third part is a Tesla Owners React video segment where I react to the amazing test that the engineers have done in the left-hand drive car to cheat the system. This is Nash from Tesla and the Gong. Let's do this. For people who are new here, uh, I do a lot of autopilot videos when we have an entire playlist where I have urban autopilot challenge videos where I test the autopilot in our cars every single time a new software update comes to our cars and you can check them out in the description of this video as well as in the top right corner. Okay, for the first part of this video, uh, this is a comment that uh, Jason, a fellow uh, Aussie, had written as a reply to one of my other videos, the Model X video where I tried to sleep in a Model X. I'm sure you've seen those absurd videos as well going all over the internet, TikTokers and everyone alike, including the Tesla Q, um, who uh, orchestrated this effort to say that you can sleep in a Tesla and I showed that it's not possible to sleep in a Tesla. So Jason had written as a comment saying that, can you do the same test again, but leave your hand draped over the lower section of the steering wheel? Okay, we'll try that. I wonder if it will fool the system and also comment if I'm using my <clears throat> um, my foot to press the accelerator and if that will cheat the system. So two things we'll test in this video. As always, I'm going to keep this as unedited as possible. I'll take over control as soon as I uh, sense if there's any problems. The uh, rear um, uh, uh, camera will be uh, turned on and I'm using Avondale Farms to test this again. The same place where I tested the Model X sleep video as well. Now, if you've not watched that video, it's there in the top right corner as well as in the description. Um, <clears throat> and today being a Sunday, uh, there are very few people. Uh, uh, this car, this this road is not uh, not terribly plied up, plied upon, and so we're going to use this road to test this. Let's do this. Without further ado, let's get going. <clears throat> People have asked me in my previous video if I'm able to engage autopilot by double tapping on the uh, uh, stock in a road without any markings, which I can't. So double tap, nope, double tap again, absolutely not. Lane markings are coming up just a bit there and you'll notice that I'm able to engage autopilot right away. Double tap, there you go, autopilot is engaged. Now this is an 80 km an hour road, but I'm going to reduce the speed down to 60 because it's quite scary and a lot of vibrations as well so we've brought it down to 60 my eyes are on the screen as well as in the front of the road uh, if there's any problems I will uh, I, um, uh, I will uh, intervene right away now let's take my hands off of the wheel and see how long it will take for the nag to be activated my hands are not touching the wheel and we are going on this is an unedited video as you can see right away it says apply slight force to the steering wheel the blue indicator is flashing and I'm going to take over because otherwise the car will put itself into uh, exit autopilot mode right away. So you can see that right away there is there's a warning and it says one more time, I've not, I've not applied the slight force. It does that, see what it's doing. Okay, okay, just like in the Model X, the warning came right away and it says autopilot is unavailable for the rest of this drive and the car comes to a halt it's now i'm applying applying some um a brake uh, and i'm going to drive manually so you can see right away autopilot did it what it is supposed to do if you take your hands off the wheel it'll bring the car to a halt just like in the model x video so you can't sleep in your model 3 either okay that's great now let's do the second part of this test Okay, engaging autopilot again, and this is what Jason suggested. We're going to keep our hand at the lower end of the steering wheel and just hold it down. I reduce the speed down to about 60 kilometers to reduce the vibrations on the road, and we'll keep the hand at the bottom.
this is an acceptable uh, way of holding the steering wheel to be honest um, and I do not get any nags here let's see how long before the nags come Unfortunately, my camera is not covering my hand, but then you have to believe me that my hand is placed, uh, both my hands are placed like so at the bottom end of the steering wheel. And right away we get those nags there. It says apply a slight force and I did apply a slight force and I'm still able to hold autopilot with this. Now if I remove that and just use a single, a single finger on the top of the steering wheel, let's see how long I can go without nag uh, telling me to take over. <clears throat> I'm being super vigilant. There, you can't cheat the system. Right away, you get the uh, nag warning. And now if you place a single finger, the bottom end of the steering wheel, will that work? No, we can't cheat the nag warning. Okay, I'm gonna apply a little bit of force there. Okay, I did apply a little bit of force to, um, to see if I can do something else. Two fingers the bottom end of the steering wheel how long before the nag comes on so that's two fingers at the bottom of the steering wheel unfortunately my camera is not covering but you have to believe me there you go straight away two fingers you get the uh, a warning straight away okay apply a little bit of force to to override this now let's let's try one finger at the left end of the steering wheel steering wheel and we get the uh, warning right away one finger on the right end of the steering wheel okay let's just just disable that a little bit okay now on the right end of the steering wheel one finger okay there are cars coming in front so I'm going to hold the steering wheel there keep it as safe as possible okay now they passed one finger at this right end of the steering wheel we'll see how long before the nag uh, comes on and no nag as of yet so a slight force on the right end of the steering wheel does seem to hold the nag okay there you go <clears throat> the nag came on right away uh, after a few moments there so as you can see it's not easy to escape this nag you have to do something really really stupid or you have to do an active uh, something to actually cheat the nag okay so this is part one of this video there are part two and part three as well do check them out i'll leave a link to them in the description of this video as well as in the top right corner please do watch them i'm releasing all three parts in the same uh, instance i'll see you guys in part two